Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cynthia and today I'm sharing a journaling with me video. I wanted to start the video by showing you a little bit of what uh, the weather has been like, what my life has been like these days. As I'm sure you can hear, there's little babies <laughs> that have entered my life since my last video and um, they've been taking up a little bit uh, a little bit of my time so I'm excited to finally be able to start making more time for journaling in my life again I am excited to start this new year I'm excited for everything it has to bring all the firsts all the new things and especially with children of course there's just so many more opportunities for that um, for those new discoveries or rediscovering of you know, long lost uh, firsts and excitements. I just wanted to share with you a little bit of what uh, what my day looks like these days. It's much different than my journaling is done very um, kind of in broken pieces. And that's okay because we don't all have the luxury of sitting down and having a full hour to do some journaling sometimes. Our lives are way too busy and we need to still make time um, to, to take, well, make time, more take the time <laughs> to journal. And that's what I've been trying to do. So in between naps and uh, in the mornings or whenever I get the chance, I, I really try and get to my journal. So here she is. She hasn't changed. She hasn't been open in a while. So I wanted to kind of go through and see what was going on in there, what I had created, because it doesn't take long before you forget. So I'm just cruising through, trying to find pages that I would like to use. As always, I've gathered some elements that I want to be using. And I am... Um, I'll, I'll, they're kind of going to be my jumping start. Um, I am going to be sharing a video next that will, that has been filmed before I had my babies. Um, that was the video for Ruby and Burlexo and I was supposed to upload that and um, I had been working on that video for essentially a month and uh, I went into labor unexpectedly, so <laughs> I never got around finishing it and um, I'm excited to share it with you. I'll go a little bit over about um, uh, not like detailed experience, just like a overall like, oh, like kind of what happened. Um, but I'll talk a little bit about that in my video and I'll also like talk a little bit about my voice then. Um, but although they are very much a part of my life and I love them very very dearly of course they're, they're not really going to be part of this channel very much um, other than their little feet making appearances and their little cooing sounds here and there <laughs> while I'm recording I hope you're all doing really well um, I hope this new year is a good start for you and that uh, you've already been able to create I I got back into creating. That was kind of the hard, a hard part for me to, I think like throughout my pregnancy, I was struggling to have any energy and um, even, you know, well, of course, right after giving birth, I didn't have the energy. <laughs> so it, it was definitely a challenge to, to make the time and to, to really like sit down and make it happen. But kind of the, the kick starting point for me was a friend uh, asking for a journal and uh, I'll share a flip through of that journal I created as well uh, but getting back into creating something for someone really inspired me to start writing in my journal again I think for me um, what I mainly journal about is uh, emotions and a little bit more like a, um, a sense of um, events that have gone through and, and what emotion brought were brought to me by that. So I'm not really a, the kind of person that journals about day-to-day -day things. I don't really like to journal about like an event I went to, but more so 
I'll journal about, let's say, a trip that I did. I'll kind of share my thoughts in my journal of the different um, the different thoughts that occurred to me as I was on that trip, the different emotion I experienced, and um, some of the things I wondered. And I'm a very nostalgic person and uh, very close to my emotions, so that kind of is what works best for me. And what I've found over the past year or so, a um, little bit more than a year, but I think I was going through a lot. And sometimes when the emotions are just too much, I'm not prone to wanting to write about them. So I need a little bit of time to process them before I'm able to write them in my journal and let them live there. That's a lot of how I see my journaling is once I've journaled about something, I'm kind of over it. I, I'm done. And I'm in like a therapeutic way and in a good way that I'm able to leave those words on the pages and really move on and, and see what's next. So that's what I'll be doing <laughs> today again. Um, right there, I selected the pages I want to work with. I'm going to start assembling those different elements that I have. I have a beautiful, um, authentic piece of wallpaper that I got from Heather and a little uh, word card there, a little stamp that I created by um, assembling just a, a couple pieces of paper. I did a bunch of those. Um, they're really fun to do. So you would just like make a, a lot at the same time and I like to include them in happy mails and in uh, in some journaling pages like that and uh, what I'll be journaling about today is a little bit about um, the trust so uh, that's the cue card I selected the trust to depend uh -huh. on and um, that's, uh, that's a little bit of what I'm journaling about Oh, and I do want to say before I forget, uh, what you see me do right there, adding that card with uh, a little pin, well, what you don't see is that it took me five minutes to try and figure out how to do it. So <laughs> be patient with yourself when you're journaling. But uh, yeah, today I'm, I'm journaling about the trust I'm putting in myself to create a good childhood for my children and <laughs> they're very vocal I'm so sorry I hope you guys don't mind um I'm hoping they fall asleep but uh I think the sound of my voice is keeping them up um but yeah I'm I'm just kind of trying to put as much trust in myself as can be to um to create that the childhood I, I'm hoping for and of course there's so much that's out of our control and and what what our children choose to to keep as memories right or sometimes they don't choose but the memories when you think about it what you have from your own childhood may not be what you thought your parents were hoping you would remember right so it's all out of our hands but what we can do is create moments that have the potential um to create those wonderful memories and if anything you get to to have those memories so that's a little bit of um, the sentiment that I'm journaling about today. And I um, started off with that first page as a kind of a starting point using all of my favorite elements. Uh, I added a little piece of fabric there, a little scrap. Um, they never go to waste. And then I'm ready to move on to uh, a next step. So I really wanted to include some stamps in this uh, in this journaling uh, spread and because I haven't been using my stamps at all and I always kind of forget that I have them so I really wanted to use them and you'll see there so I'll finally select the stamp that I want and I'll put a little box on them because they weren't sticking to the page that well um and then the rest of my journaling is going to happen a different on a different day so you know I this day I didn't get to finish the spread I didn't get to write but that's okay I I got what I could and it's a it, you know it's a start and I know that when I'm ready to come back to it it'll be there waiting for me
to let me know if there's any types of videos that you would like to see from me i'm really hoping to kind of get back into a routine it's funny people say oh i can't believe you're getting this or this done as you have you know two babies and to that i say well having two means you have no choice but to be organized so <laughs> maybe that's working in my favor so you can see here it's a different day and i apologize for the lighting i like I mentioned, um, only have, you know, so many opportunities to journal and I really wanted to journal that morning. So there wasn't much daylight yet. So I used the overhead light. So we can still see quite well, but it's just the, the shadowing is a little bit uh, bothersome. But hopefully you can put up with that once in a while. Um, so I've gathered some other elements at that point uh, that I wanted to create with. I, you know, I started off just with that one page and then the page beside it that I knew I could journal on, but I decided I wanted to make a multiple pages spread. So I gathered some more elements that I thought could marry well with, uh, with the elements I had already selected. So this here is a little piece of, um, hmm, you know what, I, um, I find that during since pregnancy, I my brain hmm, very questionable. So <laughs> it's that kind of paper, <laughs> uh, but it's a print. Uh, it's one of the um, the wallpapers from Ruby and Pearl EXO, and that was actually gifted to me by Heather from um, Rose Hill Cottage. Uh, so she sent me this lovely little bundle of washi tapes made with Heather's printables. Um, I want to say she has a video on how to make those. Hmm, I might be biting my tongue, but I'll try to look. If there is one, um, I'll link it down below. But uh, I've, I keep forgetting I have this, so I really wanted to use some of those pieces today in this spread. My goal for this year in my journaling is to use the things that I love. I kind of always want to and then I never do and I keep holding on to these elements that I'm like oh but it's got to be for something really special well make it special by using it right so that's what I'm I'm really trying to get to because with that limited amount of time that I have to create I want the creating that I do to feel good and to really gather the elements that I love. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. So in that pocket, I've added a, a couple pieces of paper that I know I'll be able to journal on. And to that one, I wanted to add uh, one of those washi tapes. Um, so you can kind of see just a little bit from the corner what that folder looks like. I think she did post about how to make that folder. So anyway, I'll, I'll look into it and I'll post, um, I'll add it in the description box. Um, at the very least, Heather's handle. So I'm just adding this one here. I thought the words were just enough 
to add some interest, but not taking away from the other elements I'm already using. And I'm going to be ripping this piece of paper here just to create some contrast on that book page. I ended up choosing these pages because, well, of course I like the blue of the vintage paper there, but also those book pages, um, it says like royal or yeah, royal infancy. Um, and I'm talking about uh, childhood, so I thought it was very fitting. Um, so I'm just gonna glue that. And as always, I'm using a mix of all different sorts of glue. I'm using my glue stick for some elements, some double-sided tape, as well as some wet glue when necessary. And adding another piece of that washi tape down there. I thought that um, little vintage photo was just so sweet with that little girl. So I wanted to include that somehow in, in the spread. And I'm just creating some space to journal on. Had I had on hand some paint, I think I would have preferred to paint, but I don't know where I put the paint. And also like don't really have the time to get all that out. So here we are. Um, <laughs> These days, I'm journaling on our dining table. Um, my desk is right beside, but it's uh, not under construction, but it's under uh, like piles of everything. Every time we get any sort of paperwork or whatever, everything ends up on my desk. So it's a little hard to create on there. Um, therefore, I'm using the dining table, but it works just as well. And then on the other side of that page, I'm just gonna recreate the same thing. Again, gonna use a piece of that white paper and another piece of washi. And um, that will create just enough interest for me, uh, but also lots of space to journal. that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to sharing more and uh, I thank you so so much for being here with me today. I again will be posting a video that was filmed prior to uh, giving birth so uh, look out for that and uh, there's also a flip through of a journal that's uh, coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye for now.